Hey guys, Thunderset here, bringing you an old deck with some new cards and a different skill. So I'm using Metaphys, but I'm using Check Out My Ride. What does Check Out My Ride do? Every time your life points decrease by a thousand, you get to draw any Roid monster of your choice. Obviously, we're only going to use Kite Roid. That's our ride. Our ride is a kite, guys. So uh, you know what Kite Roid does. He's super OP. You're seeing him a lot. We're also using two Sphere Karibo. Can you imagine, guys? Just massive hand traps. What are they also doing for this deck? It makes your opponent really overcommit. They special summon all their monsters, they set all their cards, they go for lethal. That really lets you know what Metaphys plays you need to make. But ideally, really, Metaphys plays just boil down to uh, Metaphys Dimension looping with Daedalus. Uh, that's why I run fewer Lupine. Lupine get your monsters summoned faster, but I really just want the Dimension plays. So I, I, I'm even tempted to take out this third Lupine and, or this one Lupine and put in third Daedalus. Be pretty good, but uh, or another Golden Sark. And that, you know, you just gotta be real patient with Metaphys decks. You gotta be really patient. So that's why Kite Roid already fits right in. He lets you pass your turn with true safety, guys. Let your opponent really overextend so you can get a fat Daedalus or a fat Neftis. It's all pretty great. And uh, yeah, guys, Kite Roid, just it's too much stall, consistent stall that you need for Metaphys to come back with OTKs. Hope you guys enjoy the replays. The replays are terrible. Casey Cup, uh, or no, Casey Cup's a. a King of Games bracket, everyone's just scooping super, super quick. I don't know what it is, and it's probably Metaphys. It's probably because it's Metaphys, but uh, I myself don't like fighting Metaphys either. So you'll see a lot of scoops in the replays, but it's still quality plays. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Okay, Yami Yugi. Let's see where we're going. Second. You know Metaphys, they go first or second. Kite Roid, of course, you don't do anything with him first turn. So here we are fighting a Buster Blader, guys. This is why you don't run aloof Lupines. This is why you run Golden Sarks. I tried to set my Metaphys to mention, but uh, he wouldn't let it fly. So here he gets two normal summons. I'm going to let him poke at us with those whelps. I don't even let him see a delay with these Sphere Karibo. Now I'm going to go for it with the double Sark. Now I'm going to use the Ace of Metaphys and get its effect though. Banish the Tyrant Dragon. They're all zero. Now we got a Neftis. I wish you could search a Neftis. That would be such a sweet moment to search a Neftis and Tyrant Dragon in and hit those three back row. That would be amazing. But we have to settle for a Tyrant Dragon play. Now here, keep in mind... Tyrant Dragon, Special Summon Tyrant Dragon, so I am not affected by trap cards. I am not a dragon. I am a worm. You'd think I'm a Tyrant Dragon, but I'm a worm. Here he caused, or Cosmic, he World Legacy clashed a Buster Blader into my dragon, so I had to use my Sphere Kuro to protect him. He banishes himself in the end phase, activating my Ace of Metaphys. I flip up my Metaphys Dimension, hit him with the Sphere Kuro, take that 400. He flipped up his DNA surgery a few turns ago. Check out my ride, guys. Kite Roid. He gets to see my kite. His field's kind of clogged, so Kite Roid's gonna go a long, long way for me. We're gonna ace a Metaphys that dimension away, pull into a Lupine, activate our Metaphys dimension, throw away DNA surgery, guys. How huge is that? Let him hit us with that 1600, and we can let him check out our ride once again, guys. Here he busts a second DNA surgery on us. But we have plenty of Kite Roid to handle that. I banish the one from the grave. Here I'm going to Ace of Metaphys our factor away. That's a ballsy move because I only run one factor. So we banish the second DNA surgery. Now we're going to Aloof Lupine, a Daedalus, and a Neftis. But he got us. He played this, the third DNA surgery down at the same time. So we left our Aloof Lupine out there. What are we going to do? But we have a Daedalus Banish, guys. That's Metaphys Dimension. We're not going to aim for the DNA Surgery. Not yet. We have to get rid of that Buster Blader because Kite Roy cannot protect us from piercing damage. So here, 
It's his standby phase. He foolishly takes our aloof lupine, guys. If he didn't take our aloof lupine, we would have lost. But he does. He takes it for us. He wanted to keep his whelp to bring out a Buster Blader. Was looking too far ahead of himself. Got a, too far ahead of himself. He had simple lethal. But now he has to deal with the terror that is Kyroid all over again, guys. We got two Ace of Metaphys. We got a data list. We're gonna Ace of Metaphys again, so we're getting double the reduction on these boys. And guess what? His third and final DNA surgery is finally gone. Now it's just a matter of time of summoning our boy. And that's a scoop, guys. All you're gonna see are scoops. No one's gonna let me swing for lethal. 100% scoops. Crazy, crazy stuff, guys. Okay, here we are versus Taya Gardner. Going first. So Taya usually means counter traps. Dual standby definitely means counter traps. But we're going first, so we're going to use everything we can immediately, so she cannot counter anything we have going. Just, we literally used our whole hand, guys. In case you missed that, that was really fast. So, uh, we set a Metaphys Dimension, we used Ace of Metaphys to ban a, banish a Metaphys Dimension, which let us draw into a Tyrant Dragon, which we could summon with our Factor, and we have a Daedalus banished. So Daedalus is now going to banish an Eftis. Crazy first turn, all to get around these traps. He has to end his turn. We banish our Tyrant Dragon, search a Tyrant Dragon with our Neftis. That's going to let us summon a Tyrant Dragon. Now we swing for 2900. But jokes on us, it is not counter trap at all. So people like to run our boy. Ancient Gear Golem, the ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. Very important to note, he just discarded a Poly too. So he's going Ancient Gear Golem versus a Metaphys. There's no way he's really gonna hurt us. Here he uses his Warven. We banished uh, a Neftis, added a uh, Tyrant Dragon of our own. Here he's finally doing his whole shebang, ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. Only weakness to him is he's affected by Sphere Boys, Kiteroid would get around him, everything we need. So here I banish my Tyrant Dragon. We get our Metaphys Dimension Banish, but I blew my Tyrant Dragon's effect, so I lost both my Tyrant Dragons now. It's gonna be a tough win, but we have Factor, so with Factor uh, we can just keep normal summoning. Here he used Kiteroid, that's what I was getting at guys. Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem with Kiteroid now. They use dual standby, so they just get more polys. And just madness like that, guys. Here we Daedalus into a Neftis. I karibo this guy because I was feeling massive delays, which means he probably had uh what is the name of that spell? Concentrating current. So if he was to concentrating card this guy and gain 2,000 and another 2,000, he would have been able to drop our monster. Here we're swinging again. He hits us with the Kyroid. We banish our Neftis since we summoned him with Factor. That's going to give us a search. We search a Daedalus. Normal summon the Daedalus with the one Factor. That's why you run one Factor, guys. Very useful card. Here he's Kyroiding again, guys. Kyroid versus Kyroid. There's no way we're going to touch any of our uh, life points. It's dangerous for me to have monsters, but you gotta remember, he already blew his last poly. Or I didn't know it was his last here, but I went back and looked. He only has two polys in this deck, so he blew his last one. I didn't actually know that at the time, so that's why he scooped. He didn't actually have another poly to uh, get his wing condition out, guys, so he had to scoop. Great stuff. Okay, here we are fighting a tag Gardner. Let's see what she's got for us. We're going first. Very useful versus Taya, because you know she's usually running counter traps, but this one's using Holy Guard, so it could be something completely different. Kind of a brick, but thankfully we have our Sphere Kribo. I don't want to use my Daedalus yet. Now I have a Dimension. Now my Lupine will use the Daedalus properly. Here, this is probably where the duel started to go wrong for this person. They uh, use Parshath on my Lupine. So... We already used the Metaphys in the end phase, that way we're able to avoid all his traps. 
So the med the Metaphys Dimension is fine. He used it to stop the Lupine, but the Lupine already banished the Daedalus. So he's already served his purpose. He's already gonna trigger the Dimension. So the Daedalus is banished. That triggers the Dimension. And I get to summon the Daedalus. Because he special summoned a monster, which allows me to special summon a monster. Here, he returns the Daedalus to my hand. We're gonna Golden Sark, which is gonna trigger Dimension. We're gonna banish that new card he just pulled as a Floodgate. Now, that other card was dead, he virtually had nothing, and he only had one card in his hand, guys. So, not much he could really do in the end. Normal scoop, great stuff. Okay, Yami Yugi. Going second. He's using a Lava Golem skin, that is super edgy. Here we got a nice buried hand, pretty good. We're gonna start with our Lupine. Banish a Neftis. Here, look, at why why do they stop the Lupine? Half his ability has already gone off. They waste the negation on the Lupine, that's no problem. We have a Golden Sark in hand, can't negate that. We banish a Dragon and a Neftis. Here he's going to banish our Ace of Metaphys with a Cosmic Cyclone. We hit him with Loof Lupine. He hits Destiny Draw, but Neftis is going to give us a search. We're going to search Tyrant Dragon. Now we're going to summon Tyrant Dragon, and already uh, Dark Lords has a tough time getting over it. He's going to use Contact on Tez, then use Banishment for an Shell. Now he's going to use Banishment from his Graveyard, searches a Superbia. He's going to discard the Superbia and the Shell, draw two. But if he doesn't draw a Banishment or a uh, Desire, he's not going to have a play. I'm going to crush him next turn. So he scoops, guys. That's what it is. If you can't play Metaphys, you just scoop real quick. Great stuff. So here we are facing a Bones. And I'm telling you guys, you're going to see a lot of scoops. People just don't want to play Metaphys if they don't have to. So Bones is using Wasteland. But he replaces it with Zombie World, so it is a zombie deck. He's set to back row. Look at this brick, guys. All thanks to Kyroid, we are safe, though. Now we're going to Golden Sark a Tyrant Dragon. Tyrant Dragon's going to summon a Neftis, guys. Look at what we hit. Two walls of D. Banished and he scoops. That's Metaphys, guys. People are just scooping quick. They don't want to play it. All you do is Banish Loop. It's a control deck. And now you have Kyroid. And he's searchable with your skill. Absolutely disgusting. You don't need aloof lupines. Keep no monsters out. Let them try to direct attack. You even have Sphere Karibo. They special summon all their monsters. Fully commit to the field. And then you just beat them, guys. Then you bring out your Daedalus, banish them all. Bring out your Neptus. Bring out your Tired Dragon. Whatever you need to do, you can react to their fully extended field. Great, great stuff with Kyroid, guys.